Now, a News 5 investigation. You may remember earlier this week, nine people were found dead in the bed of a tractor trailer outside San Antonio, Texas. The conditions so horrible, there was barely any air to breathe or water to drink. Dozens more had to be hospitalized. The driver, James Matthew Bradley Jr., 60 years old, of Clearwater, Florida, has been charged and may soon face the death penalty. News 5 Haley Minogue has investigated human trafficking in the panhandle in recent months and wanted to take a look at different ways survivors of human trafficking can get help locally. They're human beings, and so that breaks my heart. But when I saw the word Florida, I had to read that three times because I'm like, here we are again. Florida's popping up again. It seems to be the norm. Michelle Jones works with human trafficking survivors all over the country, but recently is focused on starting a home for survivors right here in the Panhandle, a hotbed for human trafficking. So I-10, as, um, as you've heard before, is the main corridor, and that, that really is absolutely the truth. The trafficker will come in, maybe it's one or maybe it's a group of, group of them will come in, they'll get off of I-10, and you get off of I-10, you can be at Pensacola Beach pretty quick. Refuge for Women has homes across the country because she's seen such a need here. Jones hopes soon the Emerald Coast will have one too. They need hope and that's what we need to give them. Um, and it doesn't matter if the house is going to be in Escambia County or Santa Rosa or wherever because we're going to service women from all over. In Santa Rosa County, Haley Minogue, News 5.